In question 1, we're told the first three terms of a geometric series are 18, 12 and p respectively, where p is a constant. We're asked to find in part a, for one mark, the value of the common ratio of a series, in part b, for one mark, the value of p, and in part c, for two marks, the sum of the first 15 terms of a series, giving our answer to three decimal places. We know that this is geometric, so we can find the ratio by dividing the second term by the first term or the third term by the second term. So all I'm going to do is write that the ratio is a sub 2, the second term, divided by a sub 1, which in turn will be equal to the third term divided by the second term. So if we just take the second term and divide it by the first term, we'll have now that the ratio will be 12 over 18. We can simplify this now, dividing the numerator and the denominator by 6, and we can say now that the ratio will be 2 thirds. In part b, we need to find the value of p, so we can say now that the third term divided by the second term, which will be p over 12, will be equal to the common ratio of 2 thirds. Multiplying both sides by 12, we will have 24 over 3 is equal to p, so p is equal to 8. So two marks for part A and B. In part C, we need to find the sum. So we're going to use the sum of n terms is equal to A, which is the first term, multiplied by 1 minus R, where R is a ratio, raised to the power of n over 1 minus R. So let's go ahead and collect some information. A, which is the first term, is 18. We found the common ratio to be 2 thirds, and then n will be 15. We simply need to sub this in, so we can say the sum of the first 15 terms will be a, which is 18, 1 minus, and then we'll have 2 thirds to the power of n, which is 15, and then we'll have now 1 minus the common ratio of 2 thirds. I'm simply going to substitute this into a calculator and then round my answer to three decimal places. So we'll have 18 multiplied by 1 minus and then we'll have the fraction of 2 thirds, which we need to raise to the power of 15. So simply plugging this into a calculator, we can go ahead and work this out. 1 minus 2 thirds, or of course you can just put in 1 third. This gives me now 53.876, so let's write this out. We can say the sum of the first 15 terms is 53.876, and then we're going to have, after the 6, 68245, 68245. Therefore, we can state now that to three decimal places, it will be 53.877, and that's now to 3dp. So two marks for part C.